The switchboard is nothing more than a form you can customize with a bunch of command buttons that the front end user can click on to open up a form or report. For example, as opposed to using the navigation pane here, if the front end user comes over and they're looking at the forms to update the customer information, which one do they use here? Unless I clearly label them, they could get lost. Or maybe I have one form that I want to replace with another form. If they open up the wrong form to add the customer information to update it, then I could end up with data integrity issues. Instead, I can create the switchboard that has a button that when they click on it, it'll open up one of the forms here, the one that I choose. In other words, I can control what they have access to when it comes to the forms and reports. Not only that, but tables and queries. In that, I can hide this navigation pane, which I'll show you how to do in a later training video, and they really don't need to see the tables or queries, at least in my database, because both the forms and reports are based upon queries and tables. So I can limit them to just the forms and reports from the switchboard. And to create the switchboard, we need to add the switchboard manager command to the quick access toolbar. We can do that by coming up here and right clicking on it, going down to customize quick access toolbar, change it from popular to all commands, and it's sorted alphabetically, so let's scroll down to the S's. And there we go, switchboard manager. Double click. Oh, he's right up, kind of up the top. Let's move him down to the end and click okie dokie and then just come up here and there you go, switchboard manager, click on it. The switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard in this database. Would you like to create one? Why, yes, I would. Click yes. And you can see it does three things. One, it brings up the switchboard manager, which we'll go over in just a minute. And then as you recall, the switchboard manager is a form. And so there's the form right there, a switchboard that just got added. But it doesn't have any items or command buttons on it yet. And remember, the form is always going to be based upon a table, either directly or indirectly through a query. And so there's the table, switchboard items. So for every item or command button that we add to the form, it's got to keep track of it somehow. So it's going to store that data within the switchboard items table. So now back to our main switchboard. We can edit it to add commands to it to open up many forms and or reports. But I recommend that you don't junk up the main form with many buttons. But instead, we can break this down and split it off from the main switchboard to say, let's have a report switchboard and a form switchboard. Because those who want reports don't want to sort through all the forms and vice versa. So I can create two additional switchboards that I can have them link and get access to those other switchboards from the main one here. So to create those additional switchboards, let's come over here and click on New. And we'll call this our, our report switchboard. Click okie dokie. Click on New again. And this one's the maintenance switchboard to maintain our data. Well, it's going to be the gateway to our forms. And you can call it the form switchboard, but hey, I'm going to call it maintenance because it's through our forms that we work with the data. So that's what I'm going to be calling it. Click okie dokie. So I've got a total of three switchboards here. The one is the default, the main switchboard, that when they open it up, this form right here, what we're going to do is we're going to have a bunch of buttons on it that links to these other switchboards. And in addition to these other switchboards, you can add an additional button that opens up another form or runs a report. So I think what I'll do is I'll add a total of four buttons. One will be the customer info that I can open up the form in add mode so I can add additional customers so they don't have to go down to the maintenance switchboard to quickly add a customer. And then I'll add one to open up the maintenance switchboard to open up other forms and then another to open up the report switchboard to see what reports that they can run. And then finally I'll add one to close the database here. So with this selected, let's go ahead and click on Edit. And then we want to create some items on the switchboard or buttons, commands. Click on New. This one's going to be my customer info. So to add customer information or to add a new customer. And the command is to open a form in Add Mode. What form is that? It's going to be my customer info. So that way, when they click on the button, opens up that form, and it's in add mode. So they can just go ahead and type in the new customer. Click okie dokie, and then let's go ahead and click on new, because we want to add another one. This one's going to be the run, run reports. So I want that to go to a switchboard, and the switchboard is going to be the report switchboard. Click okie dokie, click on new, and then we want our maintain data form you know, to maintain our data, to work with the forms, to update the records within the forms. So the switchboard is the maintenance switchboard. Click okie dokie. And then finally, click on new. 
in case if they're done with all the work and they're on the main switchboard and they want to close out, we'll call this the close and click on the drop down arrow, exit the application, and that's it for that one. So there's the main switchboard that we've been working on. We can go ahead and you can delete them, you can edit them if you need to make some changes. Let me click cancel. You can rearrange them by saying, okay, close is going to be moved up, or let's move it back down. Close out of that. So once they go to the main switchboard, from there, it's going to spider out, where they can click on a button that takes them to the maintenance, to the reports, or opens up the customer info form in add mode, where they can quickly type in the customer's information, and also close out. Now, let me go ahead and work on the switchboard reports first, and what kind of commands we want on the switchboard report. Select it, click on Edit, and click on New, and let's add the category sales, because that one, when they click on the text, it'll open up the category sales report. So let's say the command is to open up the report, click on the drop-down arrow, category sales, and click OK. Dokie. And let's do another, click on New, this one will be the Final report, click on the drop down arrow, open up report, click on the drop down arrow, it's the final report, click OK, and then after we've got a couple reports here, the only two that I want them to view, let's give them the option to go back to the main switchboard so when they're done viewing the reports, if they want to close out or go to the maintenance side where they can open up forms, then let's give them that button, give them that choice, click on new, and say back to main back to main switchboard, whatever you want to type in. And then it's got go to switchboard, and we'll select the main switchboard and click okie dokie. So that's it for my reports. Let's go ahead and close out, and let's come back up here to the maintenance, and edit that one, say new, and we'll have the edit categories. So we want to have the command to open up the form in edit mode. So it'll display all the records that we can search and go through and make changes to the data they're in. So it's in edit mode. And what form is it going to be? It's going to be the categories. And then click okie dokie. And I think you get the point here that you can just keep on clicking new. And for the maintenance switchboard, add additional forms. So we'll stop it right there since we got the pattern. And let's go ahead and, of course, get a return back to the main switchboard. Click on new. And it's going to be the main switchboard. Click okie dokie and let me close out. And let's go ahead and take this for a test drive. Close out. So our main switchboard, remember it's a form that when we turned on the switchboard manager, it added it here. So double click and there it is. Cool. Let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. The customer info, click on that. Opens up the customer data form in add mode. So down below, you only get one of one, even though it has additional records. Because when it comes to adding additional records, you're not editing any others. So you can go ahead and just type in the customer's information really quick and click save. And then when you click save, it'll show the other records. Go ahead and close out. And then we can run the reports, which opens up the report switchboard. And what reports do we want to run? How about the category sales? Oh, that's nice. And what's the next one? Final report. Ooh, that's fancy. Let's close out. How about if we go back to the main report, the main switchboard? Oh, that is so cool. This is working. Maintain data. And we've got just one here. Edit the categories. Click on that. Opens up the categories form in edit mode. So it shows all the records down below that I can go ahead and toggle and do some basic searches, filtering, update, edit the data. Nice. Close out. Back to main. And then when I'm finished, the last one that we want to try is close. And it closes out of my database, not the application. So to open it back up, it's the most recent one today here. So just click on that and we're back to where we started. And remember, we got the switchboard items here. Double click on it and it keeps track in the table. Let me close out of the field list of the commands and what item to run and the arguments here in the table. As you can see over here, the switchboard is numbered. So the main switchboard, all in ones, and the buttons on the switchboard. Then the second switchboard is the reports all identified by twos, and then the maintenance all identified by threes. So the zero in the maintenance is the switchboard, and then the two commands on that switchboard. Now, of course, the switchboard doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing, but you know how to go ahead and open it up in Design View and make changes to it. You can do it that way, or you don't have to use the switchboard at all. 
you can create your own main form that could be your switchboard that from that main form you can add a bunch of command buttons that when you click on it will open up you know your other forms and reports or another form that has a bunch of other buttons that when you click on those will open up reports and maybe another form that opens up or has a bunch of command buttons that will open up a bunch of forms. This is one way that you can do it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.